Last month, I became a full-time stay-at-home mom to my two-year-old son, Andrew. I thought this would be a wonderful idea. I could get out of the stressful world of broadcast media and settle down into my nice, relaxing role as mommy. Not. Being in the media business, I've had some of the meanest bosses ever known to man. I'm talking about news directors who'd give Freddy Krueger a nightmare on Elm Street. But none of those tyrants can hold a candle to Andrew, my new supervisor. You see, I quickly found out I work for him now, and it's either his way or the highway. I can't take my 15-minute lunch break, and times to get out of the house are non-existent. And forget about going to the restroom on the clock. I'm on bladder control medication right now. Personal phone calls and emails are forbidden in my new job as stay-at-home mom. And vacation days and sick days are gone. I have to come to work even when I'm not feeling well. Nothing I do is even good enough anymore. I'm constantly being yelled at, even though I'm trying my best. I've got to get my new boss lunch every day, not to mention breakfast and dinner. Plus that, I'm constantly driving him around to appointments, and he won't even pay me for mileage. At least when I worked for the tyrants in the newsroom, I had the union to protect me. There were rules and regulations in place to keep this type of abuse from happening. Now I'm out there on my own with no union rep to back me up.